Hey guys, Soul Closet here. Doing a live game dev tycoon. Uh, it's gonna say, and it's gonna try to give me the tutorial and shit. Um, I have played a lot of this game. I got it for like eight bucks when it was first released. Um, but now it's on Steam, and they gave me a free Steam key, and I figured they probably changed some stuff, so I should play a, um, I should play it as far as I can get without, you know, exploding, or just for a while, uh, and I wanted to do a live stream, so, I mean, if no one's watching this, this will be on YouTube, so, hi, YouTube people, but, uh, I can't see the Twitch chat, this game doesn't run in window mode, so, luckily I don't have any viewers on Twitch, really, um, twitch.tv slash soulcloset, you know, if you want to check it out. But anyway, let's get this started. So let's call this Soul Person McDix. And oh wait, that's my company name. Fuck. <laughs> let's call it Games. McDix. Uh let's call our player Generic British Man. Good. Let's make him look like one of the guys from the Yogg's cast. Yeah. I don't know, that's neither of the guys from the Yogg's cast, but... Oh, hey, I got an achievement. I just started, and I already have an achievement. Why? Where did the music go? Oh, you can. You can toggle full screen. What do you know? Where'd the music go? The game's just not putting out audio. I don't know why. But it isn't. Well, that's a predicament. Um, I would like it if the game would put out audio. Uh, I'm going to save and restart. The game's not... Play game. Don't care. Oh god. You guys probably can't see that. Oh yeah, you can. Cool. Cool. Let's do this. There's the music. Ah, I love the music. Uh, okay, let me do some sound balancing here. Okay, so let's make a game, uh, before it's too late. Yeah, 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 I know. You should be able to skip the tutorial in games before you've even seen it, because I have seen it. I've played this game a lot. So let's call our first game. Let's make it a... Oh, zombies. What? You're supposed to start with, like, sports and stuff. Did they change that? Uh, whatever. We'll call it the... Prancing... Deceased? Prancing Deceased, and it'll be a zombie, uh, the RPG, I guess. Dude, they made this game so different. Uh, 2D Graphics V1 for the G64. Now, this looks like I'm wasting all my money. It's because I am. Um, but that's unimportant. Okay, so this is kind of how this game works. Um, what you do is it takes you to the three development stages. At stage one, you get to choose how you, how you and later on your team, when you hire more people, allocate your time in development stage one. Time does not pass while you make this decision, as with any other text box in the game. Um, so, you know, that's a little plus. So, if I want this to be a zo if it's a zombie game, I want it to have good gameplay. But I, that doesn't mean I could just forget about the engine and the story and quests because it's an RPG. So RPGs typically have a story and some quests. The engine is how well I make the game, and this is very important on your first game. So that means I should make those two the same and gameplay high because it's a zombie game. You have to think of what people like generically. You can't think of how the game would work if you could put every single, single tiny detail because you can't. Now, what this is telling me is that there will be bugs. And you'll notice that that number will go up at some point. Not right now, but... Basically, you earn... You gain bugs over time, and then at the... Right before you release your game, you have to get rid of the bugs. And that happens automatically. 
You earn design and technology points based on your character's stats, which, for the starting character that you don't hire, are automatically totally even. And then you earn research points over time, no matter who you're using, for build for doing stuff. You earn research points for doing stuff, and they let you do more stuff later on. So, okay. So for a zombie RPG, we should have, like, moderate dialogue, moderate level design, but pretty good AI, because they're zombies. So I think I'm gonna do, like, that. Level design doesn't really matter in a non-platformer kind of environment in this game. So anyway, um, and the first your first game will almost never be good. Um, if it is, then go you. But I don't know why this game, this this game is just running really slow. Maybe I can lower the graphics a bit. No, you just can't do that. Hmm. Well, that sucks. Uh, looks like the game's just going to have to run it. Oh, wait, I have mouse trails on, and I remember that being really laggy in the past. So I'm going to quickly fix that. Uh, so just one second. You can't see what I'm doing because I have it locked into the game, but... Oh, no! Oh, that's bad. I didn't change anything. Ah, oh, this is going to be such a bad game. Oh, whatever. I'm having fun. I think I finally learned how to be a decent media producer for the internet. I say, as no one watches. Anyway, so 8 and 6. Now, you will keep develop getting points over time. Oh, God. Okay, I have to release this game now. Because I'm, I have negative money. And when you have negative 50,000, you get bailed out, and you have to pay it back in double later on. Oh, you can change the name of the game at the end. New topic, new combo. Great. It wasn't a great combo. I, I think I probably should have chosen action. But 8-6 for the first game isn't that bad. Okay, here's the reviews. Won't be good. T three from Star Games. Not much fun. Three, waste of money. Fuck you, Inform Gamer. Two, Game Hero. Give me a one. Don't give me a one. Okay. Well, at, at all games, at least you said something nice. Thanks, all games. You're a good guy. Okay. Games make dicks. A new com new a new comer. <laughs> anyway, um, has just released their first game, The Prancing Deceased. This game had a moderate response from viewers. We are curious what games make dicks will deliver in the future. Well, I uh, money. Let's see. More than a thousand. Okay. As long as you sell more than a thousand units of your first game, then you'll earn some money back. At least a little. Not, not a lot, but... You get some. You get enough. Because you have to pay 8,000 a month. Game report... What is this? Ooh. I'm going to try a game report. This wasn't in the previous version. I've never seen this. I have no idea what it does. Oh! It tells you what was wrong. I should have put an emphasis on graphics. I forgot to change those ones. And zombies and RPG are a terrible combination. Well, now we know. That's actually really nice. So now I can look at research. Okay, so, I can do this. Ninja Evolution Music or Movies. Music, I'm going to make Sing Star. Why not? Now, the thing is, is if you use any popular titles, like if you put Mario in the title of your game, it will not succeed. You have to... F the, the whole point is to come up with your own games and kind of live out a, a very simplified version of how you would make your own games. So I'm going to make, I guess it would be action. It's not anything else. It wouldn't be simulation, because you're not simulating being on a stage, you're just singing. So I'm going to call it, uh... Vocal Space. Can't use SingStar. I, I feel like this whole video is just going to be, or stream, whatever. I feel like this whole thing is just going to be me making puns, but I don't care. Vocal Space. Uh...
you should know what that means. If you know what that means, like, comment, subscribe. I'm kidding. Uh, I can't do that without another person here. God damn it, Game Grumps making me look bad. Anyway, no story requests. Actually, just a little. Uh, engine high-ish. Yeah, but since it's an action game and a music game, you want gameplay to be very, very high. In the middle. Well, this is looking good. My last one was 8 and 10, I think. Uh, 8 design, 10 technology is what I mean. So let, let's just check. So by the end of all of that... Oh, we can't check that. But, okay, it was 8, 10, and it wasn't very good at all. Now, dialogues... Uh, does that count as singing? I'm not sure. But level design should be almost nothing. And the AI should be, like, the same as that. I, I don't know. All of those seem like they're not very important, but I guess dialogues, because you're singing. Local space. Those tacos some bueno. Um, world design. Almost nothing. Graphics. Meh. Sound. Boom! There we go. See, the sound is important because it's a music game. See? I should have put more focus on it, but I didn't. Now we've got to patch the bugs. Ooh, 13-9. That's really good. The design is important for artistic kind of games, or, you know... Like, you know what I mean. Person. Good. New topic. And what, what, what was the great combo? What was the great combo? I don't know. Good judgment? Oh. Cool. Achievements. I love achievements. Come on, give me them ratings. More than a three. More than a three. More than a three. More than a three. Technically! Okay. Five? Four. Okay, if I don't get any threes, then I'm fine. Get to three. Oh, four, okay. Four is better than three. So, I don't care that I got all fours. It's better than 2.75. Am I going to sell two? two, two 3,000 in the first week. That is definitely good enough. Uh, let's research something. Let's, let's look at the game report. I really like these game reports. Uh, let's look at that. Let's see what we did better, and let's see what we did worse. I'm really liking that feature. It's it's really nice. Also, I don't really have any money, so... Okay. I did both of those things, so I guess that's good. Oh! <laughs> cool! So, two generic British men from Pat Patrick and Daniel Klug. Greenheart Games. Hi, Generic British Man. We are the creators of Game Dead Tycoon, and we would like to thank you very much for purchasing the game and supporting us. Game Dead Tycoon is our very first game, and it means a lot to us that you are enjoying it. With your purchase, you support our little startup, and this will hopefully make sure that we can bring you more games in the future. Seriously, you rock! Thank you very much, and have fun with Game Dead Tycoon. Patrick and Daniel Clue, Greenheart Games, www.greenheartgames.com. Yeah, guys, you can get this on Steam. It just came out on Greenlight, like, today, I believe. But you can also get it at their website, um, and then you'll get updates and everything first. Because the Steam has Steam has like a slowish process on that kind of stuff compared to their own website. So if you go to Greenheart Games and you buy it on there, not only will you get a Steam key, but you'll get all the updates. First. So yeah, that's what I did, and it, it, it worked out really well. One second. Okay, I have six fans and a very small amount of money. Uh, you know, for a game developer. If I had that money right now in real life, I'd be like, oh my god. Oh, I can make Surgery Simulator! And everyone will play it, and I will get all the money. No. Oh, also, if you can actually get Tycoon as a thing. If you make... And one of the topics is development, is game development. So if you make a game, a game development simulation, I believe, then you get an achievement for in, called Inception, for making Game Dev Tycoon inside Game Dev Tycoon. It's actually pretty cool. Because I just thought of it as a joke, but it's actually an achievement on Steam and in the game. Okay, so now let's develop a new game. Let's call it Surgery Sim Ulator 86. I just make random years in the 80s when I do this. So that should be a simulation. Click platform. I guess we'll just use the G64. Oh god, I'm already going to be in the red just by making this game. I really hope I don't hit negative 50k. Okay, story and quests, low, 
And engine, that, that's already good. That's good for a surgery simulator. Actually, because it's a simulator, we should have these a little higher, but that's only because it's technically a simulator and that's what they want to see. Now, I would make this on the test. I would have waited a couple months or weeks or something and made it on the test, but the thing is you have to pay $80,000 before you can make games on the test. And that's really bad uh, because I do not have that much, that much money. Our AI, I'll make the AI a little higher. I'll make them all equal, actually. Okay. This is turning out pretty well. I've already got 7.6. Not the best thing I've ever made, but it's it's pretty good. Graphics high, because it's a simulator. So obviously the graphics have to be perfect. That's how all simulator simulators are, guys. Don't you know that? <laughs> anyway. Um... Come on, get rid of them bugs. I need to sell this game. I am about to lose a lot of money. Go. Oh, shit. I need to make $4,000 very fast. Wonderful, I leveled up. Oh, no. Oh, no, you don't. Two weeks. Come on, higher than a four. Six. Oh, I finally made a decent game. Six. Six. Seven. Thank you, all games. You've redeemed yourself. Oh god, this game isn't gonna start. Oh, 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 oh. Make me money. Make me money. Yes! Oh, that was so close. I just made the 37th best game. And I sold more than 10,000 units. And Jason is impressed by my talent. If you know what I mean. I'm kidding. Um, cool. Making money. I now have unlocked contracts. Basically, you do contracts if you need money really fast, and you know that you're good. You just can't... You, like, you've just made a bad game, but you know you can make better. You can do a contract in between games. Oh, now I'm making the money. Good. This is good stuff. Rhythm? No, ninja. I can make a ninja action game. No, ninja simulator. <laughs> no. Is anyone watching? No, no one's watching. I didn't think they would be, but I always check. Ninja! Cool. So, now... Oh, generate game report. Nah, that game was successful. I don't need to generate a game report. Uh, let's call this... Kensho Shin Tensai Plus. Screw it, I've got $80,000. That was probably a really bad decision. You know, YOLOing and all that. It's not a good idea to YOLO. Remember, kids, don't YOLO. Whoa! Oh. Oh. I didn't read that. I, I didn't. I didn't read that. And now I'm worried. Crap. I think it means that the number of pluses and check marks or minuses and check marks means that the way I have it set it up doesn't work. So if I change no? I have no idea. Dialogue should be downish, but level design should be high. AI should be higher. Because it's like a platformer. It's like Ninja Gaiden. If you couldn't tell. This is going to be bad. I'm only at, like... Oh, well... 5-7. Uh, That's pretty bad, actually. Yeah, I'm going to lose. World design. Meh. Sound a little bit better. Graphics high. It's an action game. No, I think that was still a bad idea. Yeah, this game is not going to succeed. Fuck. Well, I know I'll earn my money back that I used to make it. Oh, that's a, that's a new record? That cannot. Ah, uh, whatever. Good, so I leveled up everything else. And people are going to like it a little bit more because it's on the test. Oh, this is going to fail so bad. Five? Four. God damn it. Six! Wow. Thank you, informed gamer. Okay. So, I got a five average. That's good enough. A five is good enough to get you a little bit of money. Like that. 
Uh, but I probably should... Well, now that I have the test license, I can get... Ooh. Hmm, evolution. I can make Spore. That'll be cool. See, the best thing that you can get in this game is, um... Like, one of the most helpful things you can get is the target audience ability. Once you research it and pay a little bit of money, then it lets you basically make a game just for young people. Or just for, um... What was I gonna say? I don't know. Oh yeah, you can make a game just for young people or just for older people or whatever. You can set the rating. But you can only unlock it once it matches up in real life to when ratings were created. Like, when the ratings board was created. When this was created. So, you know. But if you make a sports action game for kids on the, uh, on the fate, uh, you know, on the ripoff of the Game Boy, because you'll notice these are all ripoffs, except for PC. G64, Commodore 64, TES, NES, you know. Um, but if you make a game on the Gameling, which is the Game Boy uh, equivalent, if you make a Gameling game for kids about, um, football that's an action genre oh my god it's just crazy I should have made this evolution simulator but that's okay I think it's fine I'm probably gonna get a lowish grade and uh, not grade derp I'm probably gonna get a lowish um uh ranking but that, that, that's okay Rating. I mean, god damn it. I'm messing up everything. Technology's really low, I'm noticing. God damn, this is a really bad game. Uh, graphics and sound should be like medium. World design should be higher. Because it's an evolution game, so when you say evolution, the game thinks of dinosaurs. I don't know why. Oh, thank god. When I'm done with this game, I can research that, and then everything will get better. Now, I can make a custom engine if I had some money, but I don't. My goal here is to get a million dollars, I think I'll stop when I get a million dollars, unless it takes a long time. Or if I fail, you know, just like, totally. Okay, there we go. So they just explained why Sega exists. New topic, new combo, that's pretty good. Now, I'm quickly going to do a game report on my newest game. Oh, I can't do that. God damn. I need another high rating game, but this is not going to be it. It's not going to be good at all. Oh, wow. Five? Six? Seven? Six. Okay. Was not expecting a 5.5. That is really good. And I'm just going to earn a bunch of money. Uh, let's do a game report and see what I did right. Oh, and I guess you earn research points for doing game reports. That's cool. I mean, it makes sense. Bad combination. Yeah, I know. Gameplay is important. Platform and genre match is okay. Oh, okay. I'm cool with that. Pong poster. Um... thing said there were a bunch of easter eggs and I would love to know what they are I thought maybe Pong was one of them but it wasn't maybe it is and I'm just doing it wrong but I don't think it is now this is the part where I where, where, where things get good and this is the part where I start being able to make a lot of money so things are good in general because now we can research target audience. Let's check what our next topic is. Space. That works. So we can make a space game for kids. And it'll be like an alien. And Alien Bob will make a lot of money for me. So let's make a game. Yeah, I know. I'm aware. I've played this game before. Okay. Alien Bob created the universe. Mwahaha. I don't know why he did that, but he's a cool guy. 
Space simulation. No, we want it's for kids, so we want a space adventure. Ooh. Okay. So action is the best one here. Out of them. Cool. It tells me that shit before I make my game. That's actually really awesome. It tells me what the game is thinking so that I know what to make. That's nice. So... Gameplay... Should be high. Story and quest, because it's an adventure, should be like medium. Engine should be a little bit higher than that. Gameplay. That's good. I think. I don't know. I'm not the best at this game. But I can do okay, I guess. I mean, I've made games that made $140 million before. For, like, the Xbox 360 equivalent. AI should be high. Level design can be low-ish. Dialogue should be low-ish. Er? That's not a word. I don't care. Six. Seven, four. Any viewers? No. World design should be high-ish. Graphics should be very high. Sound should be very high. Cool. Oh, I think this is going to be a good game. 13, 10, 14, 10, 14, 11. One more technology point? Ah, okay. I don't want to run out of money. Oh, those are both new records. No, they're not. I've gotten 11 technology before. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Oh, come on. Hi. Hi. Oh, f fuck you. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. So it wasn't good. Six? Aw. So I got like a four. Or no, a 3.75, I think? 3.5? Not sure. I think I got a 3.75. Not totally certain, but... Let's see what I did wrong. Hmm. Oh. So I should have made an action game. Well, that's okay. I think because it's not it's it's not being a very fast process to get the first million, I think that I'm going to stop it here. But um I hope you guys like this. Uh don't forget to, you know, do all the YouTube things when if you see this on YouTube. If you see this on Twitch, check out my YouTube channel, uh youtube.com slash user slash soul closet. And if you're seeing this on YouTube, don't forget to check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash soul closet. Um, that's all for today, guys, so I'll see you guys next time, so closet out.